Finally, uh, uh, here's a case of um, anti-Semitism. Uh, uh, I, I give you this case not because it stands out, but because it's so common. It's everywhere. Um, and, um, but I think it illustrates, uh, it illustrates how kind of the, the anti-Semitism manifests itself, how universities are behaving, how it all kind of plays out um, in, in, a, in, a, in its, uh, the ugly fashion that it does. Concordia University, Concordia University in Canada. So this is in Montreal. Um, it's canceled. It, it, it's it's canceled uh, the p a permit that it gave to a pro-Israel uh, group, to uh, pro-Israel student group, to set up a table on campus. You know how student groups table on campus to promote the stuff that they do. The table uh, would have uh, had a material on it that calls for the release of Israeli hostages. So releasing hostages, they would have had a table there. Uh, a few Jewish students would have stood there handing out leaflets to encourage people to um, work towards releasing the hostages in, uh, uh, the, 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 that the Palestinian holds. I mean, this is, I know, a, a radical, radical position for these uh, kids to have. Uh, the university said they would not permit the table. The students' leader challenged the university. Uh, the university's response was, look, we're just trying to protect you. We're just trying to protect you. We're trying to protect you from those radical Palestinian groups that are going to come and harass you and there might be violence. I mean, let's not, let's ban controversial books because they might lead to the radicals, the bad guys, not, not, you know, the book is fine, but let's ban it because the author might get killed by radicals. I mean, let's ban Solomon Rushdie's book because God, those Muslims might go after him. They did, they did, right? Let's ban lectures where protesters might show up and, and might do harm to the lecturer. I mean, it sounds reasonable, right? Or maybe the, the job of the university in this context should be, and the job of the government certainly should be, to protect you against that violence. If there are radical groups on campus that might be violent as a consequence of a leaflet about releasing of hostages, maybe they should be banned? Maybe... You send some police to protect them? We're protecting you because the radicals might come. And by that, you're, you're taking the side of the radicals. We're protecting you because people might inflict violence on you. And by doing so, you're defending and being on the side of those who inflict violence. I mean, this is just pure anti-Semitism, it's also pure cowardice, it's, uh, it, is, it is despicable, it's horrible, and, uh, you know, and it's everywhere. But this is not unusual. It is not unusual. Usually, uh, it, it is not the people doing the violence, it is not the crazies who are blamed for any problem, uh, it, is, uh, it is the people being attacked who are to blame. Because how dare they? they? They know this is upsetting to people. So how dare you engage in speech? How dare you engage in activism if people are going to get upset? This is, you know, the death of the West. This is the death of, of freedom and liberty.